Hey y'all, I am out here under the pergola today. I was going to give y'all an updated tour of where the garden is at. Some of you who have watched from the beginning know where this garden started with a slab, a well slab, and some live wires running across it. So I wanted to show you where we're at now. But then a thunderstorm came, but I decided that I'm not going to let a little bit of rain keep me from making this video. So let me show you. First, I'm going to put up a picture of where we all started, where we started in our garden. So you see how far we have come on a very limited budget. And then I'll show you where we are now. All right, so this is my shrimp plant, which is doing excellent in this area. This is one of my hydrangeas that I have not moved yet. And as you can see, it's getting some buds on there. Now we're in the backyard, which surprisingly has not flooded yet. We haven't finished this sidewalk that'll go all the way to the pergola. It goes to the garage up that way. And Tom, Tommy needs to weed eat, but he's trying to fix the weed eater. All right, so my hanging basket's coming back and I can't remember what this is called, but I'll look it up and put that, reference that. This is some salvia, more salvia. These are potato plants. These are succulents that I need to pull the weeds out of, which I'm not going to do in the rain. I started working on it earlier. This is succulents, different kinds. This is not a succulent. <laughs> anyway, here's the new pergola. And under the pergola, I have some oxalis. That is this purple clover looking stuff right here. Again, I need to pull weeds. This is the oxalis. This is Mexican heather. Then I have two avocado plants. I have some cuttings of some Confederate rose hibiscus in here and it's getting roots so I'll be putting those in the ground soon I have some more succulents in here I have a fern doing very well right there that's the bamboo wind chime I made few years ago, a couple years ago. I have yet to figure out what this grass is. It's not an iris. It's some sort of a fan grass. If anyone knows, let me know. See how it just kind of fans? But this is all it does is it, it's after five years, it's just a grass. It was in the front yard. We moved it to the backyard. And this is a Confederate rose hibiscus. I'll show you a different angle of it in a few minutes. This is Mexican Heather over here. You can see this one's flowering and there's some more oxalis in there. Oops, I have a shovel. This is the hydrangea that I transplanted. And as you can see, it's coming back very well got some buds in there so I'm going to be moving the other one back here too near the thunder and I can't remember what these are called they're like a little mini carnation I'll put the name up when I get back to my computer walking over here 
My Mad Hatter pepper is coming back really well. I put this here to protect it so my husband wouldn't weeded it down thinking that it's just a weed. You can see, let's see if I can put my hand behind it. See right there? Getting a little pepper. There's the goldfish pond. My elephant ears are coming back well. Those will get huge. I did find some reeds, but I didn't put them in a deep enough pot, so they're leaning over. I'm gonna have to change that. Got more plants in the goldfish pond. You can see. Goldfish are going crazy because of the rain. This is lemongrass here. There's another plant that I got from the lake for the pond. Don't know the name of that one. And of course I already had all of these. Another one of the little carnation things. This is Ruralia, which gets a pink flower. Mexican petunia, I think they call this one. Um, this is a star jasmine. It did have some flowers on here, but looks like they've gone away. It's on my teepee that lights up at night. That's a solar light. This is a blue potato bush that I transplanted. I need to trim all of these back, but I wasn't sure where it was going to leaf out at. Because on this one, it got leaves here on one of the old stems, but then none of these older stems got any leaves, so I'll cut those back. That's gonna be huge, and it can fill out this whole area right here, so it needed to be moved. Over here, this is a bean plant. I haven't put anything in that one, and then that's another bean plant that's growing. This is my okra, which has an old piece of a baby bed over it to keep the chickens from getting in it. I also put cilantro in here. So it's okra and cilantro. Let's see. You see the cilantro right there? And right there. But if I put this here, my chickens won't dig in the flower bed they stay out of it the bugs however are getting on this so i'm gonna have to treat this and these are my tomatoes let's see tomatoes and there's some carrots in there i'm not gonna take the netting off because it's on there pretty good but when they get bigger I'll take the netting off, but for now that keeps chickens off. Over here I have some bell peppers planted. Some are further along than others. This is a bell pepper plant. I'm going to have to figure out why it turned yellow on me. That's to keep the chickens out of there. And over here I have cucumbers. I'll be thinning some of this stuff out. I need to weed. There's some grass growing along the sides. We really needed this water. Because even though I water everything, it, the sun just bakes everything. We've had 85, 90 degree temperatures recently. So those are the cucumbers. And here is squash. We've got squash plants in this one. Over here is another batch of potatoes. These are red potatoes and these are russets. You can tell they have different leaves sort of. But I just know because I know which ones I planted where. So these have already flowered. I'm just going to wait for all the foliage to die down on all these potatoes before I harvest. These onions 
are bolting. They're getting a flower, so I'm gonna pull that up. I've been working on the archway. I put a bunch of coffee bags down and we're going to have stone here. Killing the grass with that. But we're gonna have a bunch of uh, flagstone here that we'll cement. This orange tree froze, so it came back bad. We're going to be cutting this down. See the thorns on it? I'm gonna get rid of the orange tree, start over, and protect one better next time. Here are my cannas. They go all the way down to the house. You can see they're getting flowers. And the leaf rollers are back as usual, but I do not worry about them. They do not harm my plants. I don't see one in there. I was going to show you one. But I have a video on leaf rollers if you want to see it. Look in probably 2021. Well, you can see the damage, but you can't see them. It does, does not permanently hurt the plants. Those were my eggs for Easter. I need to take those down. This is a climbing rose. I'm going to climb, train it to climb the arch here, as well as go down the fence here. So I've already gotten behind because this is going to need to be redirected that way. It's a pink color that my daughter gave me. Here's some more of the cannas. Doing really well. Some buds. This, one, this one's red. I want to get an orange as well, but my, one of my daughters gave me these and I've just multiplied them over the last two years. Now here, closer to the road, are my crepe myrtles and ruelia. This is more ruelia, which are pink. Crepe myrtles, different kinds, white and pink. Big saw blade. And these are gardenias that I started from uh, flowers my daughter picked out for me from my old house. There's one. This one's pretty big. Started all of these from a few flowers that she gave me and I just got roots on it. You can see there's a bud on here. Gardenias are one of my favorite plants because they smell so good. Here's another one that I just recently planted. You can see I recently planted it because I didn't take the pots in. <laughs> Right here I have some lantana planted. Then I have oregano, chives, dill. I rooted some salvia. Over there I have some dragon seeds, dragon, well, dragon fruit, which is getting way too much rain. So I'm going to put that back on there. And I have this on here to keep the cat from laying in here because he crushed some of my plants, some of my seedlings. Nothing's really been done in the front yard because of our septic lines. There's a leach field here and we need to dig that up and redo those because they're from like 1968. And we have a feeling that the oak tree roots this oak tree that they've really messed up that leech field so we want to get that make sure that that's working right and yes I have my dog tied up so he can go potty so that's 
the progress we have made in the garden. Thank you guys for watching. And if you haven't already, please subscribe.